I know we all want to grow, you know, we all want to get big in this YouTube journey, but sometimes there's very, there's some tiny mistakes that actually make our growing channel stop growing like they just become dead. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about mistakes more YouTubers or new YouTubers make in their YouTube journey. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Niela and I am a beauty and lifestyle content creator currently living in Canada. And if you're here to subscribe to my channel, I would love you to click that cute red button that says subscribe. Subscribe to my channel so we can enjoy this ride together. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss a new post whenever I put up new videos on my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about, just as the title says, mistakes new YouTubers make or you mistakes small YouTubers make. Every day, we constantly make mistakes, you know, running our channel and, you know, like, it's all part of the process. Like, if we don't make mistakes, how are we going to grow? How are we going to learn from it? So I'm just going to be listing them down. I wrote them down so I don't forget. And I'm going to be talking about them, you know, point after point. Comparing yourself, comparing themselves with big YouTubers and also comparing themselves with other YouTubers. I'm not saying you I'm should be saying you shouldn't compare yourself, but don't forget the fact that all, not all channels are the same. Like, not all beauty channels are the same and not all lifestyle channels are the same. Different people here on YouTube have like different strategies on how they used to grow their channel. Some people, you know, their strategies are sharing their videos on their social media platforms. Some people are, you know, doing email marketing. It depends. So many people have different strategies. So, I don't see yourself i don't think you should compare yourself in the sense that you begin to kill yourself and begin to say oh my channel is not growing you know for example now dima Ome doesn't really put tags in her description box if you've noticed and yet her channel you know brings in a lot of views in ours then you begin to think to yourself after all it's, it's almost the same topic we talked about now how come I'm, my you know my own video is not even translating to this much much views sister <laughs> auntie do you have the kind of subscribers the Mao may have? You should ask yourself that question. Another mistake small YouTubers or new YouTubers make is impatient. Like everybody wants to blow. Like nobody is patient enough to wait for their channel to grow, you know, organically. Yes, it happened to me when I started. I can remember, you know, then when I put up a video and I'll just be seeing. Sometimes I won't even get any views and I'll be like, uh uh, and my friends not watching, you know, I did not subscribe to my channel. Didn't I share the link? Because then I used to share the links, like I used to do, you know, WhatsApp broadcast message, share my links, you know, and also uh, um, share my links on Facebook as well. So I begin to wonder, I say, after sharing it on different platforms, how come it's not translating into views? You know, then and then again, before you know it, discouragement begins to enter the matter and all of a sudden one day you stop uploading i i think it's, it's always good to know before you even start if you've not yet watched my how to start and grow your youtube channel i think you should go and see that video i think it's important to know that you know growing a channel actually takes time it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of dedication and it takes a lot of time as well even though you do popular training videos your channel will still take a lot of time to grow and don't forget it can take just one viral video for your channel to blow. So for some channels, it can take like three years. For some channels, it can take like two years. For some channels, it can take months. Some channels, it can take six months. It can take one year. So it's always good to exercise patience when you are on this YouTube journey. Another mistake I want to be talking about new YouTubers or small YouTubers make is lack of planning. I mentioned that in my other video, but I am going to be more detailed in this one. I mean lack of planning you know like you don't plan you just do anyhow anyhow with your channel you don't even bother if you know you have audience waiting for you to you know to upload your video you don't even plan you don't even you know plan your video ideas you don't even plan your video schedule you don't do anything you just wing it oh today is tuesday i'm supposed to upload a youtube video i go to google quack, 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 quack. i check oh i sit down i film the video i did i upload it it gets to a point where doing things like that will become very exhausting and before you know you will just end up you know not uploading on your channel proper planning can take can go a long way in your channel just like what i mentioned in the other video you can plan your video your videos weekly daily monthly however your upload schedule is and also batch film batch filming helps you I think I mentioned on my WhatsApp status a couple of days ago and I said I have videos, two videos already scheduled for March and I am not done with February yet. I have not had videos for February, like I'm not done, you know, uploading videos for February, but I've already scheduled two videos for March. So batch filming can help you. Other mistake new YouTubers make is focusing on 
filming equipment and forgetting the main 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 thing which is the content if you have gen gen equipment and your content is shitty trust me your viewers or your subscribers will not even last up to two or three minutes in your video and before you know they are gone so forget about investing in heavy equipment i can remember then when i used to think that oh if i have camera if i buy a camera you know i'll gain subscribers trust me when i got my camera you know when i got my camera i i don't think my subscribers grew as much as it grew when i became consistent and when i became you know more intentional about my channel so trust me don't worry about um you know stop focusing on buying the gengen equipment don't go and buy you know don't spend your money thank god nowadays there are so many so many great phones out high definition camera quality you can start with that film you know it with natural light if you cannot afford to buy you know heavy light or you buy a ring light a small ring light or a big ring light even a selfie ring light too can actually help you you know with your lighting so stop focusing on the big equipment sometimes that can even make some people not to start their channel because they'll be waiting for the time when they will buy all the whole equipments before all the equipment they need before they begin to start their channel or be, before they eventually start their channel and you find out that it may even take like one month three months one year and yet they haven't started their channel so focus on the content and not on the equipment nobody's saying you should have shitty you know video quality with great content trust me if you have great content you'll be pushed to make sure your video quality is top -up. other mistake new youtubers or growing youtubers make is not being consistent trust me i like i said in the other video i'm the wrongest person to talk about consistency but over time i've tried you know to be consistent with my channel because trust me it is harder it is harder to come back to the tube. Maybe you have been uploading for a while and all of a sudden you stop. Maybe like weeks, months and you begin to come back. It's harder for you to catch up than somebody who is actually opening a channel for the first time. So try and be consistent with everything on your channel. Be consistent with your upload days. Be consistent with your quality. Be consistent with, you know, your brand voice, your channel theme. If you know you are using yellow yellow as your thumbnail you know as your text color for your thumbnail stick to yellow keep using yellow all through your channel because it will help with giving your channel a voice whenever anybody sees your video even if it's on the suggested video recommended videos once anybody see your thumbnail people will know that oh yes this is Niela's channel oh yes this is bim bimbo's channel Oh yes, this is Tracy's channel. So try to be consistent with your brand. If you're using red as the text for your thumbnails, stick with red. If you actually try to change your background for your thumbnails and you change your backgrounds to red backgrounds, stick with changing all of your thumbnails to red backgrounds. And if you like to take your thumbnails in, you know, outside space, like in the nature on the road, please stick to that. Be consistent with your you know youtube channel take new youtubers make is not paying attention to their titles and to their thumbnails you know as a new youtuber nobody knows you like even if you get hundreds of your friends to subscribe you find out that out of those hundreds of your friends that subscribed it may just be 10 people that will be watching your video so pay attention to your titles pay attention to your thumbnails nobody knows you you need catchy thumbnails to be to drag you know people over to your channel i don't care however you do whether it's a clickbait or it's a normal thumbnail try to put up catchy thumbnails there are so many apps for you to you know use to create thumbnails for your youtube channel also Back to titles, research on your titles, go on the tube and like I said in the other video, check if other content creators who have done similar video, you know, who have created similar videos around that video title you are about to upload and see how, you know, how their views translated for them or how the video translated for them into views. And if you, you see that it translated, you know, very great for them into views, then you can, you know, tweak your own title to suit that same title. Just put random titles and, you know, dead ass thumbnails because you have 50 subscribers because you are still new and you are waiting maybe when you get to 1000 subscribers then you begin to put professionalism in your channel start putting professionalism in your channel from the get-go another mistake other you another mistake youtuber new youtubers or growing youtubers make is not renaming your videos after editing this is 
something I always preach to everyone I know that is on the YouTube space and you're my friend. Always rename your video titles. Always rename your video to the title you're about to use on YouTube. So if I'm editing a video and I'm saying, okay, how to do glitter eyeshadow look, and I did the video, sometimes it depends on the phone you're using. Some um, Android phones might give you VID, the year, the month, and the day of you know the video, the day you shot the video. Some might just bring up a random thing. That is the the. Then when you take it to the you know editing app, it will just randomly bring up, you know anything for you and you just go ahead and upload the video i have seen where people upload videos and when youtube notifies me of that video it comes out as my movie one or may 29 2019 or may 5th 2017 try to rename your videos using the title that you're going to use to upload that video on youtube renaming your titles help with seo video seo ranking that is just the gospel truth I learned the hard way and I try to tell anyone who cares to hear renaming rename your videos. Another another mistakes new YouTubers or small YouTubers make is you are not tagging right. You are not tagging right. You need to tag right so that whenever people search for video ideas or video titles, possible titles that you know um corner around the title you have, you know, corner around the kind of video you've created on your channel, your video will pop up in the search. Even if it doesn't pop up among the first 10, but at least your video will pop up. Don't feel bad because you feel, okay, you're a new YouTuber, YouTube is not going to suggest your video to other people. Start doing it right from the beginning, from the get-go, because when you get to 10,000 subscribers and you know, you're know you monetized, it may be hard for YouTube to place ads on your, on your channel. So tag right put the titles of your video in your tag put possible titles of that you know particular video in your in your tag for example if i'm saying okay how to do a smoky eye in my tag i'm going to do how to do a smoky eye shadow look how to do a smoky eye look how to do a smoky eye you know how to do a smoky eye shadow how to do eyeshadow for beginners how to do smoky eye for beginners you you get so anyhow anybody wants to search for that video title your video you know your video will sharp up. another mistake new youtubers or growing youtubers do is not experimenting with their channel what do i mean not even switching up their channel you know background and their channel you know um scenery scenery once in a while try to switch up your background so if you're using like um backdrops once in a while try to film without using the backdrop or you can film you know outside if if you have um a very good place where there are trees and the wind is and the air is very cool and everywhere is serene you can try to film there just try to experiment that way you'll be able to know which video scenario your viewers or your subscribers tend to you know respond to more and by the time you know that i'm sure you'll be able to stick to that so don't be afraid to experiment with your channel i don't mean you should go and begin to upload gaming videos when your channel is a beauty and lifestyle channel once in a while switch up your background if you're using plain background once in a while you know you can add flowers to it or you just film in in a place where you're not using the backdrop mistakes new youtubers or growing youtubers make is not engaging with their subscribers and with their community or their viewers sometimes it can be discouraging whenever you put up a video and you find out that you get only two comments from that video even after months you still find out there's only two comments that is in that video and you get discouraged and you be like mm. I beg, it's not even worth it. Let me not. Other people comment. replying comments within the first 24 hours after the upload of your video helps your video, you know, it helps your video um, exposure. How do I mean? You comment, it means someone has made an action under that video. There's a possibility that YouTube is going to show that video to, you know, other subscribers or other viewers. There is a possibility, even if your channel is too small. Why do you want to, you know, why do you want to deny your channel that opportunity? Not to, you're not big yet and you're not replying comments. When you now become big, what will you now do? <laughs> try to engage with your audience. Try to listen to them. Try to pay attention because you can never tell. Your next video idea may come from the comments 
you know from the comment section so pay attention to your community pay attention to the comments on your channel because your next video idea may just come in from the comment section and the last but not the least mistakes new youtubers make is being fake oh my god everybody wants to be like everybody everybody wants to be like jackie aina everybody wants to be like laifa everybody wants to be like uh, everybody just wants to be like everybody like if you begin to fake it if you begin to be not if you begin not to be original from the beginning of your channel how long do you think you're going to last being fake and not being original to your viewers and your subscribers so guys be real be original be true to yourself trust me your channel subscribers or your viewers will appreciate you more when you start being real and you know being true to yourself from the get-go youtube is a long you know is a long thing is a long time is a long time career a lot of people have been doing youtube for six years for five years for seven years and they are still doing youtube you know till this present time without you know any other source of income so imagine you're doing you're doing youtube or you decide to do youtube for the long for the long run and you are faking it you are being who you're not or you're being you know you're trying to be who you're not are you going to keep trying to be who you're not for five six seven years think about it. So guys, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give me a fat thumbs up, share with your friends. Please share with your friends and others who are, you know, growing as well. And like to see more of kind more videos like this. So let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to put out more content like this for you. Till I see you all in my next video. Do have a fab fab day ahead, guys. I love you. Bye.